I'm very well. How are you today, Scotty? Uh, excellent. Absolutely first class. I've been delighted by the results. I want to build up Twitch as well as YouTube and Facebook, you know? Yes. I think well, it's I very good. And also LinkedIn. Night. Sorry, Scott. I, f I found that interesting last night that one of your uh, re uh, readers or uh, viewers were talking about how you how you do a live stream at the same time or whatever it was on Twitch. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So what well, well, what she was saying was you can actually get other people to stream your live. Ah, really? ah so yeah. there we are. How are you, says Will Fox and Cotman on TikTok. Yeah. They've joined us on TikTok. I've got the TikTok running. We can't sort of do the phone in on TikTok in the same way. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it's not yeah. got that facility as far as I know. So I've just got TikTok running live beside us. And if people right. want to come and join us, they can. Excellent. Yes. You know, Welcome and then. TikTokers. <laughs> yes, and we've got what we've got, Kareem. We've got YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn now. Excellent. You know, yeah. now LinkedIn, uh, again, is, uh, you know, where a lot of people go to keep in touch with job information and things like that. And there's about 10,000 people follow uh -huh. Scotty McClue on there. Excellent. Now, that's not Number. to mean they'll all suddenly be watching, but they will slowly but surely get the message through. Absolutely. Yes. No. Uh, busy. You're very busy, Scotty. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just good. And as I say, what's so wonderful is the very fact that we're on. Yes. You know? Yes, and getting a good chat-chat. Yes. We'll get to phone in and express their views and opinions. Yes, and, and, and that's what it's all about. It's just being in touch. And the fact that they can see it all over the world, we just need to get the, the information out there that we're actually on. Yes. Have you thought about, Scotty, though, like the, the Chinese market as well, like the, the, the Asian market? Because I think that there's a, a lot of potential within that field as well. Oh, huge. Absolutely huge. You know, I mean, TikTok yes. has 800 million people across the world. Wow. Now, even right. if we could get half of them watching us, yes, you know, yes. I mean, it's fantastic. Yes. Good evening, says Boris. <laughs> fantastic. Boris Everybody's coming up and saying good evening, and we've also got people talking on the chat here. So yeah. Suzanne says the football's on. It might be a bit quiet. I don't care because, really, if you start worrying about the football or a big drama or something, then yeah. that they start to wag you. Yeah. The tail yeah. starts yeah. to wag the dog. Because you better not go on this football. You think, no, hang on a minute. More people probably know Scotty McClure than know football. Absolutely, yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, yes. And a well, game's Scott. only going to be of interest to certain people anyway. Uh-huh, yeah. The football will only be for a, a percentage of society. There's a, a, a bigger group out there. Yes. Different things are watching different things. There's, there's people that want to talk. There's Joseph, and he says, Good evening. Have you enjoyed your day so far? <laughs> yes. And there's Beachy Beachy says, I've got the football on and Dinky Doo. Excellent. So that's pretty good, <laughs> Kareem. You know what I mean? They're watching the phone in, and they've also got the football on. I think the phone in, Scotty, I think that's, especially now, with people with mental health, I just think it's such a good way for people to phone in, yes. to speak, to talk, to share. Yes. You know, if they want to get things off their chest, and there'll be people that can give advice in the chat comments. Yes. You know, I, I just think it all links really well. And Kareem, there's an even bigger thing. It just gets bigger all the time the more you look at this. You know, it's uh -huh. just bigger and bigger and bigger. And what we can do, anybody famous that wants to phone in to Scotty McClure and do a sort of quasi-interview is very uh, welcome to do so. Yes, yeah. And we can also uh, include guests. Yes. So I could uh, have a guest on with me with a double header right now. Ah. Uh, you see? Right, right. Well, people would like that. I think people would, would enjoy listening to that as well. And you do have good interviewing skills, Scotty, so that'd be really interesting to to see whoever you'd be interviewing and, you know, the, to see how you interact in the banter. Well, it's very kind of you to say so because I think interviewing is a very, very special technique and I think it's very important to get the best information out of somebody. And people have said to me, they said, Scotty, you're an interviewer. Why are you not interviewing? And I think, well, 
somebody somewhere will spot something. It depends, you see. The programmers yep. and controllers and people that run the media, yep. if they don't spot you, what does that say about them? Because I don't have anything to prove. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't need to prove, oh, I wonder if I could get on radio. Oh, I wonder if I could get on television. Oh, I wonder yeah. if I could present the news. I wonder if I could read the news. I wonder if I could work in a newsroom. I wonder if I could work in a radio station. Could I work outside Scotland? I don't have to prove any of these things. <clears throat> now, that's not trumpet blowing. That's just a fact that I've already spent 30 years, 40 years doing all these things. In the field, yeah. I think one person who, and I know you mentioned him in the past, he's not my favourite person, but depending who he interviews, he can give a really tough interview with Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan is outstanding, and great things are in the pipeline for him. And they well, should never, yeah. ever have let him go from yeah. uh, from ITV. What they should have said was, look, there's a wee bit of a stitchy behind the scenes, and we'll keep keep you posted. I mean, if it yeah. goes against us, we might have to, to, to remove you. But if it yeah. doesn't, you know, just you stay where you are, buddy. When you heard them interview Nicholas Sturgeon, they were absolutely ruthless. Mm -hmm. But they always thanked her at the end because at that time, no Tory minister like came on at all or would come on from Boris Johnson's cabinet whatsoever. And they've said that every time Nicholas Sturgeon came on, nobody from the Tory party uh, within that time period, anyone anyway, he was there, uh, has, has came on to, to speak to to them the first thing in the morning and I, and I think that's remarkable A, what Nicholas Sturgeon going on but B, how they can really they can be quite ruthless but I think you need that at Yeah, but Nicola Sturgeon whatever you think of her or her politics is yeah. an, she's an outstanding media person she's very, very good and she really can deal with them she can fight her corner but yeah. I've noticed that they give her a much rougher ride than they do anyone else. And they yeah. usually leave her till late on in a big programme. Yeah. You know, so that yeah. time is tight and she's under pressure and everything. And she deals with all of that because that to me is small time petty stuff. Because there will be people, some are going, yeah, yeah, make sure you really get stuck into her. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And 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 what about oh what about this member of the government? Yeah, don't don't be too hard on him, you know, because he's he's not the brightest, you know, all this sort of idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, also, I mean, I had to tweet this morning to Radio Four's Today program to say right. to them because they were trumping the new foreign secretary as the first British female foreign secretary. And I immediately thought, no, Margaret Beckett was Foreign Secretary in 2006. Uh -huh. yep. You know, so I had to tell them that. Now, it's it's a sorry day when the public are telling the news people how to do their stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know? I know. It's, and, it's and I've noticed that they come up and they go things like, the BBC has learned. And I think, hang on a minute, we've been discussing this on social media for almost a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so so they, they really have to realise the power of social media and that yeah. their own transmitters are very powerful, but not everybody's tuning into that. Yeah, yeah. There's quite a lot now in terms of... If you remember back in the day, Scotty, you had your three stations, very simple. But now... On especially TV with digital and, and won't name the other place, uh, other things, but there's just such a massive audience. Yes. And on top of that, now they've got to compete with, as you said, the internet because there's so much podcasts and live streams and there's just so many different groups, but a lot smaller. And you have to find ways to, to tap into all these groups, you know. And, See, if I was doing this 25 years ago, I can tell you now, my audience would be up in the tens of thousands right now. Mm -hmm. But it's fragmented because there's just so many other things. Like one of our contributors has just said, football's on, it might be a bit quiet. Yeah. You see, because yeah. somebody somewhere is watching football. But there's a lovely person on TikTok said, I'm watching football and Scotty McClue. 
Yes, absolutely. You know, so what they should be saying in the football pundits' place, in the old dugouts and stuff, is yep. I see Scotty McClue's on tonight. We might not get as big an audience as we usually do. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be good. So I'm going to say, um, I've been on a course today and tomorrow. Uh -huh. and it's refreshing my first aid because I'm one of the first aiders in work. Clever. Uh, and this is to all the readers, out, uh, your listeners. Um, and I didn't realise this app existed. And I had a look at it. And honestly, it is outstanding. It's the British Red Cross First Aid app. Right. And I'll say that again for anybody. It's British Red Cross First Aid app. And I think everybody should have that app downloaded on their phone because if you come across anything that requires first aid, it's there in the app and it's so simple and easy to use. That's fantastic, Kareem. We've already become a public service broadcaster. <laughs> you know, I've had a look through it. If you see someone who's choking, if there was someone who's painted, all these things, it's all in the app. And you don't think of these things when, you know, like you could be going out for a cup of tea tomorrow, seeing friends in a cafe, and then you stumble across somebody in the street yep. that's unconscious. You just don't know. And I just think to have this app, and I'm going to put a, a whole school when I get back to work next week out for everyone to download this app because it's, I just think it's so important that if you've got that app, then there's a higher chance that you can save somebody's life. You're a great man, Kareem. We can't say fairer than that, La. <laughs> Thank you very much, Scotty. Listen, I'll say good night. Is it 10 o'clock tomorrow you're back uh, on? 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Friday night's 10 o'clock. Uh, you were saying last night you thought that was good. Do you think we should keep them all at 9? I think during the week, 9 o'clock, because people want to, to get to bed and yes. whatever. And I think the weekends, people are up a little bit later, we glass of wine and, all. Oh, Scotty's on, let's listen, let's phone, you know, have that on in the background, you know. I, I, yeah. And I think for consistency as well, people, you know, will get used to the, the times. Absolutely. Lovely to hear you, Kareem. Thanks again. Have a good night. Speak to you tomorrow. And you, sir. And dinky do. Bye bye now. There we are. That's our Kareem. What an amazing man. Uh, fantastic. Westminster has it in for Nicola Sturgeon and runs smear campaigns against her. We're getting this on TikTok, guys. For ratings, you must have to promote the narrative or be fired. Absolutely, JD. Lakmea says, very good, sir. How are you? Right. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Good evening, Scotty. It's Charlie. How are you? Charlie, lovely to hear from you. Dinky do. Dinky do. Can you hear me okay? I can. We can hear you clear as a bell. Lovely to have you with us. How are things Excellent. with you? I'm very good, Scotty. I called you last week and I didn't have the sound sorted correctly, so I've got it all sorted now. So Charlie, it's sounding good. outstanding tonight. That's fantastic. Just touch on what Kareem said there, that's a very good um, bit of advice in regards to the British Red Cross um, uh, app. Yes. Um, because um, sadly someone had passed away in my work and we were offered um, first aid courses and, and many people did. But you know what, I was a bit scared about doing it. Scotty, um, you what, know what why? I think? Um, the reason being is I think when you see somebody taking a bad turn, I know your reaction is, is to help them, but you know, and, and I suppose you do it depending on the circumstance, but I think there's certain things like, you know, epileptic, epileptic fits and various other things that, you you know, people fitting and stuff like that, where you, 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 you kind of panic yourself. And um, I think, you know, it's, it, it, I just felt, oh, no, I'm not going to go on it. And it's just purely because I, I, I was... I, I, I can you know, see exactly what you're saying, but that's no reason actually not to go on it. But I can see what you're saying because you would panic a lot less if you had an idea what to do. And yes, exactly. if somebody is fitting, it helps to get them into the right position. It's very important not to put your hand in their mouth because they could give it quite a bite. You know, things yeah. like that. Um, you know, so, so there's quite a lot involved in dealing with something like an epileptic fit, you see, and depending uh -huh. on the person. And a lot of these things can what you call self-resolve. But yes, uh, no, it would be so much better if, A, you had somebody there that knows a bit about what they're doing, and, B, you're going to be less stressed. 
Because yeah, you can say, no, that's all right. This is quite normal during epilepsy. Yeah, you absolutely. see? So, so things yeah, like that. Yeah. But I can see exactly where you're coming from because somebody else being ill can make you quite queasy. Yeah, absolutely, Scotty. And, and even my team leader as well, when I said, you know what, I, I, I'd be too scared to be dealing with that. But I understand it, it's probably best that you, you, know, you, you, you attain those skills in order um, to... To help somebody, so yeah, I totally understand. And um, the other thing I was going to talk about, just two other things, Scotty. Um, um, Sir Clive, um, Sir Clive Sinclair passed away. Did you hear that? Uh, that I'm sorry to hear that. that. The inventor of the C5. Yes, and but the Spectrum also, computer. also the yep. Sinclair computer. You know. Yes, that's right. Absolutely. Um, it made my my, my teams uh, more enjoyable purely through Manic Miner and. You know all the different games that were out there. You know for for the spectrum. Yes, so, and I you know. I love these people that have a goal. There are too many doubting Thomases. We see them keyboard warriors, armchair critics. You know the world is stuffed with these people, but they won't get off their backsides and do it. Yeah, absolutely. And what Sir Clive also achieved is, is that you know a lot of, a lot of kids were were um, you know learning programming um, etc. You know through magazines you could get. You could, you, you know, you could type all this code. It might take you, you know, four or five hours or so. And then, you know, when you press enter, you got maybe the American flag or whatever. There was, there was all these types of, um, you know, earlier learning coding. I think, you know, really helps, you know, people and um, probably, you know, further on themselves. You know, they had a, they had, you know, they, they helped them actually say, say, you yes. know, what, I'm going to get into programming. Yes. You know, it, it didn't just, you know, it, it didn't just give the games, but also the backbone to that as well to figure out how do you construct a game. And uh, I think, you know, that that's absolutely remarkable. And, and, and it, it certainly did deserve the knighthood, you know, given, uh, given his skills. Of course he did. Um, there needs to be more of that, Charlie. You see, the honour system is really just to bring the palace closer to the people. And that's the whole okay. purpose of the honour system. And if you've got somebody that's out there doing something for the people, they're the ones that deserve the honours. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I've never thought about it that way. I always thought, yeah. you know, if you, if you, you know, if you're, I mean, you know, if you're, 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 um, you're over and above, you know, what is, is deemed, you know, the norm kind of thing, you know, that that's where you would get even an MBE or, or you know, you know, a knighthood. No, they're very <laughs> sought after, certain honours. There are people who'd love to find a way around the system to get themselves an honour because they think it's important. Um, you know, but, but what's interesting is with honours comes a responsibility. And I would only be interested in anything like that if I thought I could use it to help other people. Otherwise, yes. it's not a problem one way or the other because, uh, you know, you are what you are and you do what you do. And uh, the, the, the honour system was brought in so they could bring the people closer to the palace. I mean, it goes back, it stems back thousands of years to being knighted in the field of battle for supporting the king. So you still have your military honours and you have political honours. But there's wonderful people out there just doing a fabulous job, seeking for nothing, not asking for any thanks. They're the kind of people that deserve the gongs. Yes, absolutely. That that should be ordinary women, you know. That's um, maybe a cleaner, you know, a lollipop woman. But yes, you know, and she's cleaned. Of, she's cleaned the place for thirty five years, and it's immaculate every morning, and immaculate yeah. when she leaves every night, and all this kind of stuff. And nobody says icky or okay. And she's yeah. the kind of lady that should pick up a gong. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, local heroes, as 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 we would call them, isn't it? Yes, yes. I mean, I think that's important. The local heroes. That's what yeah, it's I'm about. And, uh, and, and you know, once you, when the honour system's running properly, but obviously certain politicians love to kind of buy off their mates, so to speak, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And you'll always get a bit of that, but it never really kind of comes to anything, you know? Because yeah, a lot of these exactly. people... A lot of these people find that they're taken out of their own thing. So say they've been known as Jimmy all their life and suddenly they get a knighthood. Are they then suddenly Sir James? Do all their pals that have called them Jimmy and Daft Jimmy and Wee Jimmy and Big Jimmy 
all their life, do they stop doing that? Do you find that people then stop inviting Jimmy because he's no longer just their pal? Exactly, yeah, there is that. I mean, you know, but then I think, you know, sometimes, um, you know, sometimes, you know, you get like the ordinary, like, you know, celebrities that have all, you know, came from Scotland. I'm not going to mention any names, but, you know, you get a lot of people that don't like the fact that they've become successful overnight and they says, oh, well, you know, I see her, she's, she's crap or whatever. Aye. You know, they'll see her. And, you know, there's a kind of, there's a, a jealousy or, or, you know, like, oh, they think they are somebody and, I don't think that's right. You know, no. I think people just, um, people are just people. Yeah, absolutely. Scott. People are just people. I can remember, I'll tell you a lovely story. Um, I uh, went to a big broadcast organisation one night and we did a show and then I found out that my car was stuck in the car park. So I says, oh, here, my car's stuck there. So one of the security boys goes, I'll let you, Scotty, not a problem. So he and I walked down telling jokes and laughing and talking and having a good old gas. And he said to me, and I love this, this really meant so much because it was only him and I. He says, we get all the big stars in here, Scotty. He says, some of them will know, look at you twice. He says, but I just love having a blether with you. Yeah, absolutely. And Scotty, I thought, making... that's it. That was better than a knighthood. <laughs> Absolutely. And just to finish, Scotty, just one other thing I've been thinking. Um, you know, we were talking, I, I heard Kareem there talking about um, uh, uh, Piers Morgan. Um, it was announced today that he signed a deal with um, Rupert Murdoch. Yes. They're going to be launching a, a global TV, you know, channel type thing. Or, Fabulous. Uh, I mean, because I do like Piers' um, interview skills. And yes. I, I think it's, it, it tells it exactly like it is. Yes. Um, and it got me thinking about, you know, uh, you know, about interviewing and as you said, that 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 is certainly a skill, but I kind of thought, where could Scotty be? And you know, remember the remember the programme in Scottish television, Scotty Trial by Night. Trial by, by Night. I was on and, that. And Kate, yes, I remember I watched the edit. And I'm... I thought, you know, let's bring that back and let you be um, you know, let, let you address the public and and, and, and those that are, are up for you know, for the for their um the claim. So I, I would say it's got still I think we should make a, a, a campaign actually and get you back on T V and get you on trial by night. Because Scottish Television are not making a lot of T V programmes I would say, but let's bring that back and let's get you actually as the presenter and the you know, the questioner, etc. Wow, Charlie, you're some man, I'll tell you. Who knows what the future brings? There's definitely a lot of opportunity out there. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And um, anyway, the, um, Scotty, I'll go and let other people, I'll not be selfish and let other people go and uh, let other people have a chance. To thank, you thank you for not being selfish. Yeah. You deserve an honour. Thank you. And you too, Scotty. Thank you, do, you, Charlie. Thank you, do. Thank you, do, la. What a top man. That's yeah. our Charlie. Now, we've got wonderful stuff. Scotty, were you in Hallam FM? Yes, I was, Denton. Thank you, do, every day. There's a half weight gun down the Swanee. So that's fantastic. Who else have we got? Good evening. Good evening, Lachmer. There we are. Evening, Scotty. Long time no here. Piers Morgan goes for the Jaguar. I like interviews like that. You live on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's me. When I've been demoted tonight, Hannah. You've done what? I've been demoted to third place tonight. Never. Oh, well. Never. I've You'll I'm never be help. demoted on here, la. Nice. The previous caller stole my thunder, to be honest, Scotty, about Clive Sinclair. Yes. Top I'm man. Legend, yeah. We're live on TikTok. Have you said hello to all the TikTokers? Nice one, Scotty. Dinky and, do. Uh, on a sensitive sub topic, though, I've just been reading an article on Worldwide News on, on the internet website. Yeah. And... Um, a guy got sent away from 43 ICU units, apparently, and uh, and passed away, sadly. Ah. Did you read it by any chance? Yeah, I've seen quite a lot of these things, Len. If you it don't mind, though, I don't think we'll go down that road simply because no, no. mainstream yeah, no. media does it. Yeah, I'm not going to mention too many things anyway. Do you know, and, it, and it, it makes us sad, and we need to be happy on here. Yeah, we get you get too many pop-ups, though, don't you, on uh, Google and... 
other things. Yeah, you get all that stuff that tell you this, that, and the I next mean, thing. But having said that, Glenn, you know, yeah. we send our condolences to those oh, that have lost well, loved ones. 100%. There's, you know, there's there's so many negative things that have happened, but I want to see what about all the happy things that we yeah, can get. Exactly. Because I worry about people's mental health. Yeah, that's how it all started, isn't it? We, we, uh, when lockdown started on YouTube. Yeah. When it's, uh, you got everybody's spirits up. That's, that that's, that's where we started with daytime show and evening show. Do you remember we did four hours a day on YouTube? Definitely, yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> We might, we'll get back to that someday. We'll build this up first. You need to suspend the uh, football uh, to get that under, uh, get them off. No, no, the football you know, crowd will just leave the football. What we want is the football people going, yeah, it might be a bit quiet tonight in the game because it, Scotty McClue's on. Hey, Scotty, can you imagine if they were in a stadium, though, and they've got Scotty on the device in the background? They should have. Yeah, definitely. It's a rubbish game, so we might as well just have a chat with Scotty on. Uh, yeah, when I when I used to uh, I used to go out and do all these things, and uh, I can remember Sheffield. Now, who was the big group one time when we went along to the ground on a Sunday? Oh yeah. Yeah, and it was tremendous. Definitely. You know, Scotty I mean, McClure at half time. How are we all doing, loves? Dinky you do. Know, Scotty, I'm pitch at half time doing a presentation. Yeah. Yeah, you go out and say, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. with us tonight, Scotty McClure. It's a rubbish game, but that'll get the crowd going. That'll get the crowd going, absolutely. You, were, you said about, you used to be, you were Georgie Best, you were in the same uh, industry as With, with Best, the same you, agent. You know, we shared the same, same agent. agent. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, George Best. And uh, right. you, you'll get it if you go on YouTube and you put Scotty McClure talks to Bill McMurdo. Nice one. Yeah, and you'll hear me talking about it, and Bill will tell you all about the time with Josh Best, with the Beatles around. He was in the flat one night, phone goes, he says, hello. Guy goes, speak to George, please. You know, and he nice says, one. who's calling? He goes, Richard Starkey, Ringo oh, Starr. You, you know. Scotty, what you say is what you get, isn't it, with you? That's it, you know. And then yeah. me old mate, me old mate on television, this was going back early 1960s. Crowd of young lads waited to be interviewed. They were getting a bit bored. They said to him, mm -hmm. hey, can we come in and see you? He said, yeah, of course you can, boys. In you come. And he bought them tea and he bought them a bun from the canteen and they sat and talked and they were doodling and stuff. The Rolling Stones. Brilliant. The Rolling stayed, Stones. He bought the Rolling Stones a tea and a bun. You stay grounded, aren't you? You've kept, you've kept your feet on ground, aren't you? You've like, got to keep your feet on ground, love, if you want to survive. You know, you know what I think? You see, I, 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 I can upset as many media people as I like, but as long as I don't upset the public. Did you ever consider doing an autobiography or anything by any chance? Well, I haven't up till now, but a lot of people are pushing for one. Yeah, I think you should. You know, get it out there, get the book out there. Go back to when it first began and all that. And have you heard? Uh, have you heard "Deliver Us from Evil," the thriller? I have. Yeah, it's quite fun. It is. Yeah. I told you, lady. Wrote it. She says, "Give us next chapter." I'm biting my fingernails. Uh, here. I must admit, you know, your narratives and that you're fantastic. You know, we we like a bit of I that, mean, don't we? I mean, going back to when you did news reading out of this world, your presentation is just awesome. Did you like it? I love looking at your archives, you know, on YouTube and that. You see, it's interesting because I had a choice. I could have stayed as a serious newscaster and then yeah. I'd probably have been doing your late night news with ITN and ITV, all that stuff. But then, again, don't you think Scotty's brought a lot of fun to people? I agree with you 100%, especially with phone calls. Do you know, the phone calls, I mean, you know, and also the reach, I mean, huge stuff. And the argy bargy. Yeah, 100%. Do you, do you prefer that side than some uh, media side? Though? I, I like I like the lot. I even used to write for the newspapers, Glenn, so I had a full yeah. page in the sun every Friday. But you're a people person, aren't you? Well, I just love the people. I love the nonsense. Somebody said to me yeah, one definitely. time, why do you talk to... You're getting a lot of idiots in your show. I said, no, I'm getting a lot of funny people on for a laugh. Exactly. 
as I said, these people are not idiots. These people are real, genuine human beings. Life's too short otherwise, isn't it? Life's too short. And I'll tell you something else, Glenn. Nobody realizes, and you'll know where I'm coming from here. Nobody realizes how much courage it takes for some little old lady up in high rise just to pick up phone. Yeah. They were the best goals then, weren't they? Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you could you could, you could empathise with them, couldn't you? My favourite was a lady one night, and she goes, <laughs> she goes, the Queen should be thrown out her house. I says, hey, Mary. I says, what well, would you like if Queen comes on phone and goes, Mary should be flung out her house? Yeah. And she's going, well, that's not going to... I said, how do you know? You don't know who's listening. It's a one for all the dance between... Conflict of the Lane, Panzer Rolls. That was just, well, it, like I said, not scripted, not scripted or anything. Just, Nothing scripted. You know, That's what's so exactly. funny about it. Why, why do a script? Just yeah. Do it as it is. You don't need a script. You see, and this is what's so funny about it, Glenn. Um, I remember a guy <laughs> says to us one night, How do you manage to fill three hours on radio? I said, do you realise three hours is nothing, not nearly enough time for everything I've got to say? Not hundred <laughs> percent. And when, when it comes when it comes to like I said, the God save our queen interlude at the end, you didn't get enough in did you in that two hours or no. three hours, whatever you did. You, you can't know, get so. it all it all just happened in no time at all. Two or three hours yeah. depending on the station. You could have done it longer if you'd have won, if you could have won, yeah. Well, one night, I mean, it were a right laugh, this. One night, we yeah, just uh, locked the door in the station and uh, played my music. I said, never mind that presenter coming in. I said, let's lock door. I said, and I'll give you my music. I bet they were suspicious, were they? And we stayed on. We said, they were all fun. up, but can we get this by the Beatles? I said, of course you can, love. Let me look it up. <laughs> uh, like I said... You, you can't bottle it. And we used to give it national anthem, last thing. You can't bottle it, can you? I go, get up on your feet. They go, yeah, that'll be right. If, like I said, if you could do it well, as long as you wanted to do, yeah. you would do it. Yeah, well, we would do it, actually. We would, Glenn. We have to do this one because the hour is easier for sharing everywhere. I mean, imagine 10 bell one. 10 bell one. A... Hey. Talk for about 10-15 minutes per call. What are you like? Listen, you're a top man. You'll have to dash and uh, we'll no, speak up later. Dinky-doo. We'll talk to Wizard one day, we'll get Wizard sorted. And Studio Nurse for Souza. Studio Nurse. I don't know if we can whip the Wizard nowadays. It might be against his human rights. Do you still hear from him? Oh, yeah. Keep in touch with the Wizards. My original yeah. Wizard is uh, in his 70s now. You know, and he's still in touch. You he said to me one night, I was giving some old lady a lot of air time. He goes, yeah. excuse me, can we get through the calls a bit quicker? I said, no. <laughs> and the cucumber sandwiches when you've just got to do the, the burps and stuff. The you cucumber the sandwiches, cup of tea, two sugars, please, love. The wizard and all that, brilliant. Get the wizard in, we used to do all that. Remember somebody was talking... And while they're talking, I'm going, yeah, I'm all right. Can I have two sugars in that, please? And they go, are you listening to me, Scotty McClure? I said, yeah, I am, love, but I'm making tea here at the moment. What's going on? Oh, you were brilliant. Anyway, Scotty, <laughs> I'll, uh, I won't let everybody, I'll let everybody else have a piece of your uh, show. Yeah, but uh, brilliant, Glenn, and always lovely to hear you, La. And dinky do. See you, La La. That's our Glenn from Sheffield and South Yorkshire. Right, we've got a lot of people to get through here tonight. Uh, good call. Thank you. Scotty should receive a knighthood. Thank you, Matt. Hi, Kareem. Hi, everybody. This is fun. My TV's been removed and made redundant from the living room, says Angel. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do from Donegal, says George. We love you, the fighting prince of Donegal. Good morning, Scotty from Australia. Dinky do Frank. Uh, this is fun, absolutely brilliant, lovely. Now you're talking, says Angel. Left a great archaeology channel about ancient Malta. I want to visit. Yes, Vaughn, we visit Malta. Love that. You brought a lot of fun to us, but I learn something every time I listen. Scotty, thank you, Frank. Under the surface, everyone's a story and something to say. People are people, no better place to talk 
than with the nation and our Scotty. Absolutely. 9 p.m. Can't put the radio up after 10 p.m. Uh, British Red Cross First Aid app says Kareem. By Glenn says Angel. Can I get a dinky doo? Says Falco. Dinky doo. Wonderful stuff. Dinky doo. Mr. McClue says Angela. Scotty, was you on Hallam FM? Yes, I was in Sheffield. Um, think we should have a wee half time chin in the box, says Beachy Beachy. I'm formerly Kenders. How's it going? Andy Pandy. I know who you are now. Can I come on your TikTok? Yes, you can, Big Mo. Do you ever go? Uh, do you ever go? What I don't know. What that is. John Boy from Port Glasgow. Hello from Paisley, says Peter. Hi, Peter and Dinky Doo. Hello, everybody. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Hashtag flow time. If you're a Twitch person, can you get on to Scotty underscore McClue? Watch the show on Twitch because I need to build up my Twitch viewers so we can become a Twitch affiliate and follow me. Also, if you're on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell for your notifications, guys. If you're on Facebook, dinky do. If you're on LinkedIn, a very, very warm welcome. Yes, my love. There we go. Now, who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Scotty, it's me again. Oh, Glenn. I've got to use my call up while these callers aren't phoning, are they? Yeah, I've loved, yes, absolutely. Good thinking. Get them calling. <laughs> God says they're not to be scared enough there. No, they've got nothing to worry about. Exactly, it's just like talking to a family member. Of course it is. We are family on <laughs> here, Glenn, for goodness family, sake. Gotcha. Exactly. We are family, la. No, no need to be scared. Just a, a good chat, a good laugh. What more do you want on the... Thursday night. What more can you ask for on Thursday night, you know? And I can't well, believe uh, it, but we've been up for a good long while already. It goes fast when you're talking a lot, a lot doesn't it, really? It, it, it absolutely on, flies in, Glenn. Instead of watching all this rubbish what's on TV, isn't it? Well, there's nothing on. I, I, I scroll through it, I think. No, 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 no. And have you noticed they all commercial take break. commercial break at the same time? It's just repeats all the time. Yeah, why, why do they take the commercial break at the same time? Exactly. I mean, think about it. If you're scrolling through a television channels and you yeah. come on one that's in a commercial break, do you not just scroll on? Exactly. Are you going to stop and say, oh, I've never seen this advert before. It's brilliant. Oh, you might find, just find a good film or something to watch. Of course, yeah. You're after a good movie, Glenn. I mean, that's what it's about, la. There's not enough snow, is there, now, to be honest, in your good movies now, is it? So no. No. Are, I like the old I like the old stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you like action or comedy, Scotty? What did you I what I you don't like? know, I don't mind. I like the lot. I like the serious action stuff. I like thrillers. Yeah. And I've I'll tell you I've thoroughly enjoyed that line of duty. Yeah, brilliant. Because you don't know what's coming next. Exactly. Did you ever see Night Manager? Uh I haven't Scotty. No, oh, I that's a crack. Have a look out for the night manager. I like, uh, I have watched that Scottish thing, come. is it uh, Game On or something? Which one's that? Uh, still Game, sorry. Oh, Still Game. Game I'm On. To watch that. Still Game, well, they oh, reckon that not... Scotty McClue was the original inspiration for that. And I've seen that, it's been brilliant. You know, there you are, that's rather fun. And yeah. uh, so you've got Still Game. Hello from Glasgow, yeah. how are you, says Cecilia. Yeah, she will also in the... Comedy is what she's been in a few comedies. The one who plays. Do you not like? Do you not like things like Hello, Hello? Brilliant stuff, yeah. Love that. Can't beat Fools and Horses, can you? Fools and Horses, beautiful, beautiful stuff. If, like I said, they've made musicals on Fools and Horses now. Yes, of course. Dad's Army. Yeah. Harry Enfield. Harry Enfield, excellent stuff, dinky do. Yeah. And uh, there's Afghan saying, Scotty, can we have a quick conversation on the phone? Of course you can, Afghan. Yeah. There's Scotty, number. That's Scotty, that's why I've phoned in it to keep the conversations flowing. Yeah, absolutely. There's somebody asking if they can phone us. Scotty, it'll be a privilege for him to speak to you and put some uh, good entertainment on. Hey, it's a privilege speaking to thee, Lyle, I'll tell you. Uh, and dinky do. Yeah, yeah. It's got to, if you could have been in a comedy, though. Yeah. Or would, what kind of character would you have played? 
What kind of character would I have played in a comedy? Yeah. Wow. That's a very difficult one because there's so much choice. Do you think I'd have made a funny husband? 100%. Be <laughs> brilliant. Get Carl on love. Like sitting up in bed like a really attractive wife. Sitting yeah. up in bed with me cap on and my jammers buttoned up. Brilliant. Check so you stick on kettle love and get us something. Yeah, there's Caroline. I might have a bit of, you know, what after. Yeah, a bit of that after that, after we've had a chocolate biscuit. <laughs> Brilliant. Scotty, I mean, you know, Clive's been talking about Clive Sinclair again. Yeah. He had a couple of young wives, actually. Right. Good luck to him, innit, really? Hey, good luck, I say. Hey, and dinky do. Good luck nice to thee. One, Scotty. See I you, mate. Uh, best in peace to him, anyway, Scotty, innit? <laughs> All the best, lad. Ta da! Take it easy, Scotty. Take it easy, big man. There we are. What a character. There we are. We get two calls tonight. Scotty, your taxi in the background needs dinky do livery on it. No, the taxi in the background is a P38 Range Rover. Fantastic. Victor Meldrew. Yes, Suzanne. Get thrown out of bed for eating biscuits, Scotty. Well, it depends on crumbs, doesn't it? So there you go. Now, who have we got here? Greetings from Birkin in Vegas. Wonderful to have you with us from Vegas. I'm good, Scotty. How are you? Brilliant, Cecilia. Dell and Rodney, 40 years ago. I know. It's incredible. Guys, can you believe we've been up for 43 minutes? For goodness sake, what is going on here? There you are. Right. I'll give you a bit of that so you can see what's going on. We're live on Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Can you follow me on Twitch? We're live on TikTok as well with our beautiful TikTokers. Birkenhead. Yeah, that's Birkenhead. I know where you are. Hi from Ireland, from Cork. Connor Crowley. I love Cork. I could live in Cork. I could go there now and just love it. When I went to Cork the first time, they'd opened the new tunnel. So we're talking June 1999, I think. Yeah, June 1999. And I went into the bar and the chap said, how did you come now? I said, I came through the tunnel. What tunnel? There's no tunnel in Cork. I said, well, I've just come through one. So I says to the bar, I says, where's, where's, the, where's the tunnel in Cork? He said, oh, that's the new one. They've just opened it yesterday. He said, God, they don't know what to do with the money next. I love it. Good evening. Thank you, do everybody. Um, so what have we got? Absolutely Kulelio, but I'll not go into that. How about to, I'm about to head over to Liverpool, says Daz. Okay, that's you take care of yourself in Liverpool. La. There you are. Did you see that? I put up me joke. Me joke the other day on TikTok. There we are. Fantastic. Right, let's get back to that one. You can see what's going on there. And back to the chat, I say thank you to everybody who's given pennies to Scotty McClure, either through TikTok's Disco Pete, the most generous man in the world, came on to TikTok tonight and gave me huge TikToks. Thank you, Disco Pete. Wonderful stuff. There's Daz Jones has sent me a red rose. You know that. That knows like I. Did you say hi to my wife, Dana? I can, John Boy. Hi to Dana and Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure. I say, if you're on YouTube, guys, get subscribing and sharing everything. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap the screen on TikTok. There we are. Nobody in from Everton. Oh, there'll be somebody in. Hello from Sheffield. My friend says James Green. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo. All right, our kid. Big hello to the TikTokers. Come over to Twitch. It's brilliant. Angela, can you get that shared around Twitch? We want to get the followers up. We had two last week. We've now got 66. So, but we need to get viewers. Is anybody watching the Twitch output? I need three or four viewers. So there we are. Why would you get thrown out of bed for eating biscuits? As long as you give your missus one. Dinky do the news, Scotty. And that's a biscuit. I mean, I'll just rephrase that. Dinky do the news, Scotty McClure. Uh, a big hello to everybody on here. Angela's laughing. Yes, absolutely. I got out of that one, Angie. Hi, Scotty. Uh, would you pay to go to space if you had the money? No, I've been to space. I'm quite spaced. 
all the time. So, um, no, I don't know if I would, actually. I think there's other things I could be doing with the money, like giving the children lunch. You know what I mean? I'd rather do that first. If I thought our children weren't hungry, and I'm not just talking about our little ones in India and Africa and all that stuff. I'm talking about the UK, Canada, America, under these uh, governments that put austerity in to pay the bankers and to get the money back for Brexit rather than feeding the children. Yes, indeed. Pick up the phone and call Scotty McClure. Absolutely, Glenn. Thank you for your call. Shugdu says, good evening, Scotty. Hi, Scotty, says Jerry. Jerry Nickel, come and give us a call. Lovely to have you with us. So much fun. Absolutely. Very, very good. Didn't you do a chin on the box? Would you like a chin on the box a halfway? Right, I'll give you a chin on the box. Fraudulent slip. Absolutely, Colelio. Good evening, says Scotty. Geodog, how lovely to have you with us. Geodog, that little thing you were asking about. Um, you know, there's always time to change your mind if you wanted to. You know, they'd be delighted to see you. I'm quite good. You would be good in Cartoon Cavalcade. Oh, I loved Glenn Michael. I used to see Glenn at STV. Do you remember he had a little dog, a dachshund, called uh, Rusty? Well, am I right? Is that right? I'm sure. Now, here's the squeeze box. Okay. Would you like a chin on the squeeze box, guys? There we go. There's Charlie on Dinky Doo. Charlie. What's Charlie saying in the chat? Fantastic. Wonderful. Hi, Scotty from Liverpool. Yes, tune in the box. Brilliant stuff. Victor Meldrew. We like that. Yes, indeed. Glenn Michaels. Cavalcade. I love that. Brilliant. Right, here we go, lovers. Are we ready? <clears throat> Scotty McClure. Here's Chris. Chris Smart saying, what am I watching? He's just joined us on TikTok. He hasn't a clue what he's watching. Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, Chris. Welcome, welcome. What's that tune called, Scotty? Bravo, says Andy Pandy. Do you remember Fireball XL5? I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe on Fireball XL5. The wonderful Lou Grade brought us it from Jerry Anderson. Super Marionation. Wish you could play the Dark Island, Scotty. So do I, Angel, but I can't. We'd get a copyright strike. Yes, and we don't want that. Now, we've got cheers, Scotty. No problem, Chris. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Always a bit of a party going on here, Chris, if you see Scotty McClue. Follow us on TikTok, everybody. I bet half of you haven't followed tonight. Are you Glaswegian? Uh, more or less, Matthew, yes. That's the kind of thing. Susan Shaw has given me the clap. Thank you, Susan. Very, very kind of you. Uh, Scotty, could you be the next narrator of Rosie and Jim? Ah, Rosie and Jim. Fantastic. I dinky do. Beautiful, says Suzanne. Did you like that one, Suzanne? It's a wee favourite of mine. 
John Boy has sent me likes. I've now got 3,800 likes on TikTok. Thank you for that. That is just amazing. Guys, we've been up for 52 minutes. Uh, there we are. Beautiful stuff. I thank you very much. What a wonderful phone in tonight. Now, you really have to help me to get the message out there. Right? We now are on. We know what's going on. You have a beautiful Scottish accent. No wonder you were on the radio. I thank you very, very much, Matthew. We should play a ditty together. You on the squeeze box, me on the concertina. Oh, Geodog, that would be a class act. Geodog, you can come on the phone in and I could have you as a guest some night. Yes, people would love to hear all your exploits in South Africa. And you would be very, very good. Uh, Daz is here and Daz is there. Daz, lovely to have you with us. Darren Jones out. Brilliant. Go TikTokers. Woola. Woo. The TikTokers. Dinky do. Is Maria still around? I've not seen her gifts. Maria is incredibly generous. She gifted me just last week a diamond king. And she finds all these amazing things uh, to give you. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely. If you want to give us a call, folks, you can do. That would be rather nice. The telephone number is there in front of you. Let me hold it up for you so you can see it. If you call that number, then we can have a chit chat. 0141628 It's billed as the great YouTube phone in. But follow me on Twitch, guys. Get on there. Uh, thought he said he'd play the squeeze box in a Ford Cortina. No, no, a concertina. What are you like? The Ford Cortina. Anybody remember the Mark I Ford Cortina? I first came across you when you used to be in Scott FM probably 15 years ago. I was still at school. Scott FM, 24 years ago. 25 years ago. So you're 10 years out. It just flies, guys. I say this to people, I say, look, the time just flies. You're live in Scottish phone in, who's that? Think you do, Scotty. Who's that? It's, it's TikTok. TikTok, how are you? TikTok. Lovely. Always the best on your post. Fantastic, thank you so much. How are you today, Scotty? We're brilliant, TikTok. This is absolutely amazing because I've got TikTok up live, although it's not actually part of the mainstream phone-in because it's on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, and LinkedIn. Yeah, well, it's good to get your young generation watching your videos, Scotty, because you speak wise words. TikTok, absolutely. It's such a privilege to have you live on the show because you are the next generation. <clears throat> yes, well. You know, and I so, wanted to, I, I, I'm a happy man now because I've introduced Scotty McClure to the next generation. That's what it's all about. Absolutely, 100%. And I really, really appreciate your call. Oh, it's a pleasure as always, Scotty. Hopefully there's more of them. Yeah, get all your mates to phone in as well, but... Uh, get the ones that aren't daft. Get the clever ones like you. Oh, there's, there's, there's <laughs> only a few of them, Scotty. There's I, not many of them. I know what you mean. There's plenty of dafties out there, but good people nevertheless. There's too many snowflakes nowadays, Scotty. We need to get people talking straight. Dinky, Dinky Doola, nice to hear you. Nice to hear you, Scotty. Thank you, Dad. Top man. How fantastic is that? That was beautiful. That's TikTok, who comes on TikTok. And uh, he's just phoned in. Amazing stuff. Good night, Susan Shaw. Lovely to have you with us in Diggy Doo. Hi from Hadley in Suffolk. Hello, Scotty, your boy. -ya. Just dropping by to say I hope you've had a lovely day. Thank you, Josh. Dinky do to everybody. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Scotty, it's me. Yeah, oh, it's me. Where have you been? 
Well, the football's finished. Everybody will be coming on just as we are going. Oh heavens, you'll have to you'll have to extend the show then for another hour. I think we should extend the show. Aye, no, do you remember we, do you remember what we did last week? Last Friday, I think it was. We oh, uh, I remember last night. No, I know that, but uh, last <laughs> Friday we uh, finished after one hour and then popped back up again. That's right, Scotty, and you stayed on an extra, what, 40 minutes? We gave them an extra 40 minutes. Well, you should maybe do that again in the moment. If, if the calls are still coming in... We yeah, gave them um, We gave them their money's worth, Numpty Heed. Aye, absolutely. Now, Scotty, you'll not believe this. Oh, of course I won't. Especially if you've told paper, me. Right? Especially now, if you've told me. I'm telling the truth here. I found a glass slipper. The glass slipper? I found you and it fits. Did you ever go to pantomime to Cinderella? No, I didn't, Scotty. Right, here's a beautiful couple of lines for you, right? Glasgow right. pantomime, right? And the two ugly sisters. And Yin, really? says, Yin says to Tither, right? Yin says... Do you think I'll be safe going out dressed like this? And the other one says, you, you'd be safe in the Mary Hill barracks. <laughs> there he goes. Do you think I'll get my foot into the glass slipper? You, you couldn't get your foot into the QE2. I, I thought the joke was you, would, uh, you wouldn't have fallen in the Mary Hill bar. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Top uh, man. No. Can I, can I, can I, I've got a suggestion, Scotty. Go on. They should ban the one o'clock gun. Why? It's the well, only way you well, can well, tell what time it is if you're in the tune. If you're not expecting it, it gives you a fright. Aye, uh, you, you know there's a flash to bang time, don't you? And you know when it goes off, the pigeons take off. They do. The They're no up for that at all. The fly past. Andy Pandy's just said if the slipper was a perfect fit, how did it fall off in the first place? Good point. Well, what's on you? Uh, I guess what's going on? It fell out my pocket and smashed. Oh, you've broken the glass slipper. You'll need to go. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Ta la la. <laughs> Top lad. That's it. That's Professor Numpty Heat. Now, we're going to have to say goodbye to our TikTokers. Dinky do TikTokers. Thank you for watching. Good night and God bless you. They're off.